Fibroids are muscular overgrowths that arise from the uterus or the cervix. They come in various sizes and locations and based on these, we determine the management. We mostly use ultrasound to detect fibroids. It can be abdominal or vaginal, with vaginal ultrasound being more accurate. MRI is another option used for mapping of fibroids, especially when there are many. It is more accurate than ultrasonography. Hemoglobin is checked for anemia estimation as there may be increased blood loss. Hysteroscopy is a process in which a tube is inserted inside the uterus to see and treat any fibroid that can be projecting into the uterine cavity. There are three principal methods of managing fibroids medical, surgical and some upcoming options which we will discuss. Medical management is usually preferred to shrink the fibroid and relieve the symptoms as most of the symptoms are due to the size and location. However, you must remember that it is not a permanent cure as on stoppage the fibroids can start regrowing. So the options are non-hormonal or hormonal. Non-hormonal medication is most commonly preferred for reducing bleeding and pain. Hormonal medication such as combined oral contraceptive pills, luprolide and a hormonal intrauterine device called Mirena which is similar to copper tea are very effective in drastically reducing the symptoms of fibroids which include severe pain and severe bleeding. Medical management is also used for a woman who is waiting for surgery as it would decrease blood loss during surgery. It is also used in women approaching menopause to reduce the symptoms. There are many options available when we are talking about surgical management such as myomectomy in which just the fibroid is extracted from the uterus thereby preserving the uterus in women desiring pregnancy. The route can be laparoscopic, hysteroscopic or open. Another option is removal of the uterus also known as hysterectomy which is preferred in women who have completed their family and are approaching menopause. In this also we have three routes laparoscopic open or vaginal hysterectomy. Now let's talk about the newer options such as uterine artery embolization and high intensity focused ultrasound. These are available in certain centers. They are non-surgical procedures which require much lesser hospital stay and provide an early recovery as compared to surgical options. A drug being developed from green tree extract is another upcoming drug. Interestingly, vitamin D deficiency is related to the development of fibroids. However, the role of vitamin D supplementation is yet to be completely proved. The role of diet and exercises are also being studied. All fibroids do not need medical intervention because mostly they are asymptomatic. Fibroids that are smaller than 5 cm in size and are not associated with symptoms usually do not need treatment and can be followed up 6 monthly to yearly to check for their growth. Also, for women approaching menopause, treatment of fibroids may not be needed as after menopause fibroids tend to shrink in size. 